Welcome today, 2,367. Sharon Horn else from here, uh, documenting the journey originally, and I say this almost every day, as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of businesses to the online world. And in 2020, when the world was crazy, I was going back and forth again and have continued to and pretty much have I, early on in my life and my career and my businesses, I was not online. Why? It wasn't until 2016 that I really came online and started playing with the internet following my divorce, my divestiture. Actually, it's 2017. I got divorced in 2016, 27. Er, I got divorced in 15. Finally divested ourselves of all of our assets by the end of 2016. We had a lot of joint assets and a lot of joint businesses and things and properties and stuff that had to get all broken up and figured out. And then in uh, 2017, I was like, okay, I'm old. But I'm not old enough to retire. I'm not really done yet. What am I going to do? So I started exploring the online world. And like so many of us, got sucked into all the different little learning loops and thinking I had to know everything before I could do anything. Uh, and at some point in 27, end of 2017, early 2018, listened to my coaches and they said, you have got to get online and do video. Video is the way of the future. You have to get comfortable doing it. And so part of how I did that was I started sharing annual challenge is online it means I showed up every day did a little video based on the topic for the challenge that day I did uh actually I did three annual challenges that first year one was my own one was I participated with a group of click funnels and other people online that just wanted to get comfortable doing video we didn't really share those videos except within the group and so we would share a video every day and we practiced and played with different uh, methodologies and modalities and it was on a, in a Facebook group which was cool because we learned a lot about Facebook but I got banned from Facebook for three weeks so I had to figure out which was also really cool how to show up every day and video share it into that Facebook group even though I'd been banned from from Facebook that's it you know and it was for a silly thing that had nothing to do with anything that I did but uh, it taught me early on you can't put all your eggs in one basket on any one platform because whether you're on or not is outside of your control. Right now, for example, pages, Facebook must be trying to, to get rid of pages or get people to stop using them, which is a challenge for me because that's where I record my live videos. It's easy for me to pop on my phone, record in, in my pages, my private pages, and then share those videos and disseminate them where I want to. Well, they've taken away a lot of the features. They've done a lot of changes to how that happens. But I've still had to figure out over the years how to continue to do that and use the platform to the best of my ability, except for when I was kicked off, which was good because it taught me how to use StreamYard and other platforms as well. And I've done a YouTube challenges and done a, a whole 90-day challenge on YouTube. Uh, I think Heather Havenwood and I did a challenge on YouTube, a YouTube challenge. I don't remember how long it was. It was a 90-day one. Or sick, I, I forget. I've done so many challenges and challenges with other people. I actually forget all of them that I've participated in and done. There have been a significant number. So today, I create a couple of pieces of content every day. I still do an annual challenge. And I don't know how much longer I'm going to do it. Uh, I, I have other priorities and other things going on in my life. So maybe I always tell myself, maybe this will be the last year that I do it. This is my seventh year. And then... I'm always doing a challenge, an annual challenge for myself personally. So I'm like, well, if I'm doing it anyway, why don't I show up and share it to help other people to know that if you just do one little thing every day, it has a huge and profound impact on your life. It's, you know, why we brush our teeth every day. It's why we bathe. It's why we eat. It's why we go to the bathroom. Because some things we just need to break down into little bitty pieces and do them every day, right? That's why, you know, habits are so popular and routines and morning routines and all the things that people try to sell you that they do uh, that have been successful for them, which is what people do, right? They want to share the things that work for them. And that's what I do in this. I share the things that work for me. So the first piece of content I do, and I usually do it to wake my voice up, is the annual challenge. This year's annual challenge is the Let's Grow annual challenge. We are actually focusing on financial growth this month. I usually structure my framework or my framework, my challenges around the life framework that I'm using. And I share the tools that I'm using all the time. I'm not going to share tools that I don't use. I will tell you right up front if I'm not particularly familiar with something. For example, for Supersize Your Business today, we're talking about the gaming industry in 
specifically with respect to influencer partnerships and how we can use influencer partnership strategies to supersize and grow our businesses. Whether they're probably not in the gaming industry, I'm, I don't target people in the gaming industry. It's not an industry that I currently participate in or play in or probably ever will. Uh, but it doesn't mean I can't learn something from that industry that I can apply to my businesses, my life, and help other people do the same. I learned early on in my career that switching from industry to industry was a very powerful way to give yourself a huge boost in earnings and in benefits and in other things. I learned that in my corporate career, and that got me interested in looking at different industries to grow and build and supersize my industry because I knew that the things I was learning in corporate America, which was a totally different industry than my businesses were, when I was applying those concepts and ideas and processes and strategies, it had a huge and amazing impact on my businesses in different industries. And so I always like to keep my eyes open and say, okay, what's going on in the automotive industry, which my son keeps me abreast of because he's a big car guy. Or photography industry, which my daughter keeps me up to speed on because that's an industry she's in. So I don't have to personally participate in all these industries in order to learn lessons that they've learned and apply them to my industries. So uh, the life framework that I use is physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships, contribution. And in 2021, I added communication and confidence because I was getting some coaching uh, following the, the craziness of the pandemic that I wanted to share with other people. And I found it really, really powerful to add some core skills to my annual goal setting process and to my, well, my lifelong legacy goals and my annual goals, then uh, breaking that down into little bite-sized pieces, focusing on one of those areas for a month of the challenge has been uh, really productive too. It, it allows me the opportunity to study and learn more in detail about communication skills, about confidence, about relationships, about emotional, spiritual, financial, physical and mental things that I otherwise in our busy lives, I wouldn't take the time to find out about. And so I think it's a powerful strategy for me personally, as well as professionally, as well as something to share with other people, because it's something I actually do. All right. What else have I got? Uh, that's it. If I can help you anyway, it's a brand new week. Hit me up and ask. Otherwise have a fantastic day. I will be with you tomorrow. Bye.